back with area's most accurate and dependable and geeky weather forecast video. It's weather for weather geeks after all. It's Monday evening. It is the 24th day of July here in 2023 and we got plenty to talk about this week and our big story of course will be the heat as we head deeper into the week. And I wanted to start out this evening just showing the national temperature map because we're actually one of the more comfortable spots in eastern Ohio and western PA this evening. It's 101 in Dallas, it's 115 in Phoenix, all the way up to the U.S. Canadian border. Triple digit heat is common out west. It has just been unrelenting across the southern and western U.S over the last few weeks. Our numbers today, 85 on the high side, 58 on the low side. Overall, pretty seasonable, just a little above the average for a high, a little below the average for this morning's low. We are running a surplus now at the airport in terms of precipitation. 4.7 inches is where we stand for July. That's about an inch and a third above the average through today's date. You know, the heat's gonna become a story this week, but the, the seasonal story has been kind of the lack of heat. We've had plenty of warm days, of course, but we haven't had a lot of extremes. And actually, when you factor in highs and lows from June 1st through today's date, we're running about a half a degree cooler than the average. And this is what we told you would happen back in the uh, springtime. We were expecting the uh, summer to not exactly be uh, renowned for excessive heat. But we've got the hottest weather of the summer coming this week, that is for sure. In the short term, though, uh, compared to last evening, it's quieter. Last evening, we had a couple of uh, hail-producing storms, some pea-sized hail. Oh, it was pretty common in places like Salem last evening. Our uh, radar locally is quiet this evening. Showers and thunderstorms are lining up uh, down across central and southwest Ohio this evening. Actually, a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for Columbus and Dayton and Cincinnati and Indianapolis as well. Not expecting severe weather around here, but it'll be possible that a few of these showers with possible storms manage to drift far enough to the east that they impact parts of our viewing area overnight, especially our, I think our southern viewing area. Best chance of hearing a little thunder tonight will maybe be down towards East Liverpool and places like that. Not looking for a lot, but uh, maybe there's a couple of downpours and some thunder, especially again, south of Route 224 overnight tonight. We'll be drying things out quickly though, as we head towards daybreak tomorrow and largely a dry Tuesday is on the way. This trough that's responsible for today's activity out in central and western Ohio it pivots east tomorrow, but just enough of an instability gradient or a little lake breeze will try to kick up tomorrow afternoon that, you know, a couple of spots, a small fraction of the area could see a shower or storm in the afternoon, but I don't think it's going to be much. We're going to be largely dry on our Tuesday, and temperature is a little bit higher than today, and then a bigger jump is coming our way on Wednesday. Almost a full day of sunshine on Wednesday, but then we'll keep an eye on what happens to our north and west late Wednesday, Wednesday night. The models have been trying to pick up on a potential complex of storms somewhere across the lower Great Lakes late Wednesday, Wednesday night. Um, odds favor it maybe grazing us Wednesday night uh, with maybe some heavier rain and a higher severe weather risk to our north and west. Um, but still, some raindrops will be a possibility with some thunder as well. Then we'll uh, be dry for a lot of the day on Thursday. Actually, today's day three outlook from the Storm Prediction Center does include a, a slight risk, level two, um, risk of severe weather in places like uh, Dayton, Lima, Toledo, up towards Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, Chicago area. Um, the risk of severe weather lowers quite a bit as you head to the south and east, but it'll just kind of depend on where exactly some of this activity tries to track um, later Wednesday into Wednesday nights. So again, that may be kind of an unsettled period Wednesday night, but severe weather maybe not as likely around here. All right, we've got some heat coming our way, and it'll kind of uh, be similar to a couple of the more intense hot periods we've had over the last few years. 94, our hottest temperature in 2022. We had that in 2020, and in 2021, the hottest temperature was 93. Um, these 94 degree readings, the hottest we've been since 2012, actually. In 2012, we had a 98 degree reading, but we haven't been above 94 since. Um, and our forecast for this coming Friday is, in fact, 94 degrees. And if that were to verify, of course, it would tie some of our recent heat. As far as thunderstorm chances in the in the coming days, it's going to be kind of an in interesting setup. You know, they might actually peak at night a few times. Wednesday night, probably not much Friday during the day, but Friday night, a decent chance at this point. It's only Monday, but right now a decent chance of some showers and some storms Friday night. And a lot of Saturday may be dry as well. Maybe more Saturday night with the arrival of the cold front that uh, we have an increased chance for showers and storms. We kept all the chances pretty low at this point because confidence is not real high in the timing of each individual little impulse. But the way it looks right now is that some of our higher rain chances may come at night. 
for about 20,000 people or so, uh, Saturday evening's forecast will be important in Youngstown uh, with Y Live at Ween Park Saturday evening. And right now, our forecast is, you know, it's going to be pretty generic five days out, but you know, we have a chance of a shower and thunderstorm. It's going to be warm. It's going to be humid. But we are going to revert back to where we've been for a lot of the summer in the longer range. This is the first week of August. Today's 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This map should look familiar, right? The heat's centered in the west, centered in the south, and it won't be all that hot across the northeast and the Great Lakes. So I think the cold front that rolls through Saturday night, maybe Sunday morning, will usher in a more seasonable air mass. Does it look chilly? No, of course not. But compared to the average, it may be a, a stretch where we're near average, maybe even a couple of days below average at times, heading into next week in that first week of August. We'll have an updated full August forecast, of course, maybe late this week or at the start of next week as we get a little bit closer to the first of the month. In the meantime, thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Monday evening. I will see you right back here on Tuesday.